Hey there guys, welcome to another train simulator video. We're going to take a look at another mod today. I'm going to dub this the Kantorsky Special. Like with the clip in the beginning, if you know, you know. And it's only fitting that we are currently in a graveyard. God rest their souls, whomever they are, of course. Because this covers the Pennsylvania Railroad and Penn Central, and there is a, uh, a CR locomotive as well. This is, of course, is uh, the SD40 Enhancement Pack by LP, and this is one of the greatest railroads that has ever graced the rails of North America, and I'm obviously kidding. That is a blatant lie. Uh, this probably would have been a good video back on April Fool's, but alas, here it is now. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff uh, with this pack. It's a nice pack overall. Yes, it is Penn Central, Penn C, uh, and there's a CR in there, so it's not all bad. Uh, but I am also committing sacrilege right now, a cardinal sin. We are currently on the uh, New York Division Bergen line, and Minerman, if you see this, I am sorry. I will make it up to you, I promise. But... I found it only fitting. One of the best routes in the game, obviously, for North American stuff. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this pack here. It is now available. I'll link it down below, as always. And the only thing you need for this pack, the single, solitary, only thing you need, is the Clinchfield Railroad. Which, if I'm not mistaken, I think came with uh, Train Sim 2022? Or was it 2021? I can't remember. But that's all you need, because it just uses the SD40. So you're going to get three Penn Central, white logo, red logo, you're going to get the uh, OG PRR, and then of course the Conrail patch job. The numbers have been corrected into the correct range, as correct as they can be, uh, for these SD40 models. Uh, there's 4K decals, accurate colors, uh, let's see what else. A bit of ambient occlusion, which was custom made, was added to this, as well as a new shadow bake to just give it a, a deeper, darker, black hole look, since we are talking about the uh, Pennsylvania Railroad. So it's only fitting. Uh, the wheels were darkened as well, which is nice, because, you know, generally they're just a, a bit bright. These, these are like sat in the oven way too long black. Those are very, very crispy. But they do look better than the original, that's for sure. Uh, custom sound set, which you can hear humming away here. We'll take this thing for a spin in a minute once I'm done blabbing. Uh, some nice horn suppression, so you can hear the horn nice and clearly. Of course, weathering. I mean, look at these things. They are they are ex pensy and pensy and pen central. I mean, they're they're dirty. They're just you know, it's got that that special pensy touch to it. Uh, it's got all new cab instrument audio. And the 16645E3 Prime Mover sounds, which are custom sounds, new sounds, an EMD bronze bell, and a Leslie SU3L horn, which is pretty nice, might I add. And truck audio as well. Uh, the bell was manually scripted with realistic ring effects. There's uh, new dynamic exhaust particles, which match the ammeter readings inside the cab. Uh, uh, overhauled cab textures as well, which I've not taken a look at, so I'm eager to take a look at that. Uh, the sticky appropriate wiper script, so how they kind of stick about halfway through the range. Uh, that's in here, and uh, a, a list of other goodies that I probably haven't uh, touched on all the way. But they look pretty good. You know, they're, they're pretty nice. It, it did something with the, the Clinchfield SD40. You know, it's, you know it, it is what it is, I guess, even though it's not my favorite phrase in the world. But the logos do look good. 4K logos, OG, PRR, the yellow numbers, the uh, PP yellow, Penzi numbers. I'm sorry if you like Pennsylvania. It's just, it's just what we do as uh, rail fans and train nerds is bash Penzi and Penn Central. It's, you know, it's just a thing. Sorry. They are very nicely weathered, of course. Take a look at the other ones over here. Got the Penn Central. You know, as much gripe as they get, I've always liked... I don't even know if I should say this. I've always liked that logo. It's real simple. Uh, clean. And 
essentially stood for corruption and deceit. <laughs> but it's a, it's a nice looking logo, very, very concise. And then of course the uh, Conrail patch, which, you know, this one's not as guilty as these over here, if you will. But uh, anyway, this is the pack. Let's go ahead and hop in one of these and we will take a spin. All right, we are headed towards Pennsylvania. We are sat on the main line uh, in, well, I guess West Bergen County, New York. And wouldn't you know, this is an empty. This train is completely empty. <laughs> I just have some random cars sitting here just for shites and geigles, I guess you could say. Uh, but it is an empty because, you know, it's Pensy. Penn Central, Norfolk Southern. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a look at these here. We'll zoom on up here. We'll go ahead and grab this one here. I put a, uh, a PC white and red letter in the lead. Go ahead and click on it. It, of course, does have uh, that nice, very normal and glorious looking uh, headlight flare effect. So that is very nice. We'll back up here. You can see it from a distance. So it looks very good. It looks really natural. And it's got a new Leslie SU3L horn. So let's listen to this bad boy. That is a unique horn. I've never heard one in train sim. Not a good one anyway. Um, that sounds pretty good though. It's a weird horn. But, you know, this is Pensy and Penn Central. It's, you know, it's like peas in a pod. It's, uh, it, you know, it just, it fits. But it sounds good. It's got that suppression. It's got a clean intro, mid, and end to it. So it's very nice. We'll check the bell out as well. EMD bronze bell with uh, apparently some new scripting on this bell. That sounds very, very nice. All right, let's get the hell out of Dodge here and we'll, we'll blow the horn. We'll do some tooting. Damn, that sounds all right. We'll go farther. Yeah, that sounds really nice. That's like the perfect level to me. We'll get up on that thing and do it now. Look it in the face. Sounds good. All right, let's hop inside. All right, so the cab textures were updated. It definitely looks a little bit more crispy in here. That's for sure compared to the uh, OG um, Clinchfield Railroad. Some weird like shadow stuff going on in here. I'm not sure what that's all about, but it does look it does look updated. This is almost too nice to be on this engine. Uh, you know, because again, I'm j I'm gonna keep saying it. Pensy, Penn Central, Norfolk Southern. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm noticing right off the bat, sand is on. Uh, PCS open is lit. It's got a very nice hum on the inside here. We'll throw it forwards. And we'll do an interior toot.
Damn. I like that. Bell. That's alright. That is alright. Alright, let's check those wipers out. Got that little stick. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, am I forgetting anything here? So cab instruments have new audio, so let's go back and forth here. Oh, that's very thick. That's like hummus. That's like the good hummus. Very nice. Check out these brake handles here. Okay, independent doesn't seem to be working. At least there's no animation. Let's see what the F4 HUD's doing here. Interesting. Okay. Well, it works there, it would appear. You just, the keys just don't work. Huh, okay. Pop that back off. We'll use the train brake here. We'll go ahead and release it. That's strange the uh, PCS is on. Now there's sand. This could be some, some weird script crap from the Clinchfield side of it. Alright, we'll give it one notch. A little bit of amperage. Give her two notches. That hum. That wub, wub, wub. I could lull you to sleep. Do you have a baby? A newborn baby? Is it screaming? Will it not go to sleep? Play this for it. Can you hear the traction motors? Uh, I'm getting like an alert here. If you can see on the HUD down there. I'm going to hit Q and clear that. Not sure what that's all about. Notch 3. Do exterior. Damn. That sounds really good. Notch three. Holy crap. The the traction motors are a bit loud. I don't know if they're this loud. They're very prominent, though. I mean, it's not a bad sound. It just sounds a little louder than, than the hum of the engine, the, the uh, exhaust and unit. Give it another notch. Oh, yes. Exterior. Number five, almost said six. <laughs> there we go. Amp gauge is just creeping up. That's nice. That's always nice to see instead of that uh, standard or default kind of pong movement. Man, that sounds good. Now, now I'm, I'm confused. I don't, I don't know whether or not I like that traction motor sound that loud or not. It sounds, it sounds good in this notch. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. We'll do exterior. Next notch. Next. That's number seven. Ah, 
I like that interior horn. Good God. It sounds really, really nice. It just sounds old. None of that K5HL crap. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know the, the Jeevos and the K5HLs and all that mess is, you know, so hot right now. All right, number eight, here we go. That sounds really good. Exterior? Got that nice horn suppression there. There we go. The sound cut out there. That happens on occasion. If it does happen, just pop out to another view and then back in the cab. I don't know if that's scripted intentionally or what, but uh, it usually corrects it. All right, and just for the heck of it, we'll drop it down and uh, throw the brakes on. Listen to her decel. My God, that low end rumble. Like, I don't ever want to switch out of the third notch, honestly. Uh,. The brake gauges don't seem to be operational. And these lights down here, uh, that's what it is. They're doing a weird thing when you kind of look away. They just, they just dim out. And you look down and they're on. Interesting. Alright, we'll give her some more air. Hell, we'll just dump it. And for the heck of it, I don't know if there's start or shut down sounds, but we'll we'll try them out. Why not? We'll try and round all the bases here. not too bad. All right, we'll try and fire her up here. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds all right. It's just that the transition is cut short. Uh, other than that, it's decent sound. So that's it, guys. The uh, Kantorsky special. I'll link it down below. As always, you can go and pick it up and uh, make Mr. Kantorsky proud and Minerman by running these on the New York Division Bergen line. But that's it, though, guys. Take care out there. See you next time.